Thanks, uh, Gerlach, and I'm pleased to have an opportunity to join my colleague, uh, Minister Foley, this evening in speaking uh, on this motion. And look, let me begin at the outset by saying I hope that the passion that I hear from the opposition party in relation to reducing student fees, I hope that that passion delivered here in Dáil Éireann will also be passion that you will deliver uh, in the north of this country. Because I do have to note, in having an honest debate uh, about college fees, I do have to note the reality of the situation is that the cost of student fees in Northern Ireland, when you've been in government, when you've held the position of Minister for Education in Northern Ireland, um, and today indeed, is the equivalent of €5,500 per student per year. And I also have to note that you have a student loan system uh, in place in Northern Ireland that leaves students heavily burdened when they leave college, having to pay back debt at a time when they'd like to be saving for their future as well. And I know you might tell me about the way Northern Ireland is funded and try to tell me that's different, but I also have to note that when you campaigned in the last Assembly elections, you did not commit in any manner or means to reducing by one cent or one pence uh, the student contribution fee or reforming the student loan system. So it is important that students who follow these debates do look at what you do when you have had a chance to govern. Do, do look at what you committed to doing in Northern Ireland in the last election, which was absolutely nothing when it comes to reducing the cost of fees, which are higher today, higher by €2,500 per student per year in Northern Ireland than they are in the Republic. So making that point, because I think it is important in the interest of context, let's look at what we are doing and what we have done here. Let's look at what we have done. Sorry, the okay, Dr. Major. Read your manifesto. Deputy, please. Read your manifesto, Deputy Donnelly. You did not commit in Northern Ireland to reducing student fees. You've presided with the Minister Sinn Féin, Minister for Education, over a student loan system, and the fees are the equivalent of €5,500. Here in this jurisdiction, this government, which I'm proud to be a part of, cut college fees last time for the first time in 27 years. This year, there'll be a permanent reduction of €500 in college fees for all families with a household income of less than €100,000. All student grants have increased by between 10 and 14 per cent, a rate that is higher uh, than the rate of inflation. A double student grant payment was paid last Christmas. The student assistance fund is at the highest level it's ever been, 20 million euro. All public transport fees have been very significantly cut for all citizens, but particularly for citizens between the ages of 17 and 24, many of whom would be students. And apprenticeship fees, which sadly aren't mentioned in this motion, uh, were also cut and new bursaries were introduced for our apprentices. And I want to assure Deputy Farrell and others um, who do bring this motion in good faith, I do want to assure them that there will be more measures to help students and to help families in the forthcoming college year. And I will, as I've said at question time, work with you in relation to that because we must keep an unrelenting focus on reducing the cost uh, of education. La later this summer, We'll publish a cost of education paper for college and this will outline all of the options available for, to government so that government, opposition, students, the media, parents, everyone has an opportunity to scrutinise what you could do in a budget and what the different choices would be and what they would cost. I also know that student accommodation is a major, major challenge and that's why we've developed a new approach to student accommodation. And for the first time, we're investing taxpayers' money in the construction of student accommodation. We've got four projects over the line so far and we're actively working with UCD, Trinity and UCC on their proposals. And later this week, I'll announce details of how we'll activate the plans for the technological university sector. In return for state investment, the university must provide a percentage of the beds below market rents for key priority groups. So we have done much and we do need to do a lot more and we will work uh, in the course of the next number of weeks to bring forward more proposals for the budget and for the college year because I agree everyone who wants to access education must be able to but we do live in a country now where there are more college places than ever before more pathways than ever before where grants are rising fees are falling where there's new apprenticeship supports and where there are technological universities bringing higher education into the regions and into rural Ireland.